I think I said we're going to go over it quickly and then you're going to take the mini what quiz. What is it over? It's over the study guide. Your quiz is over the study guide. No, okay. You said Wednesday. You said, you said I, Wednesday. I don't remember because I probably wasn't listening, but I think you said Wednesday. <laughs> I think you guys are going to be fine. Trust me. We're going to get out of the way. Okay. So here we go. 4.5a. This should be, should be. And when it comes to the equations, guys, as long as they're close, I mean, I'm going to know if you rounded or not. Okay. But these should be the. Um, equation and correlation coefficient. Of course, this is strong positive. This is strong negative. And then down here, we're talking about people in a room and the temperature. So you get 0.7x plus 75. Um, strong positive correlation. The room gets 0.7 degrees warmer for every extra person, right? So the room starts at 75 degrees. So that's what, that's where we are here. And then it would be 85.5 degrees if you added 15 more people. What if you put 80 That's fine. Again, yeah. Wait, so are we going to be using the graph thing? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so then on the back, here are the equations. Right, again, this one is actually weak negative, meaning there's nothing going on here. There's no rhyme or reason to these values. Okay, no correlation. That's fine. I'll know what you mean. Okay, and then down here, this one was a little overwhelming because it's talking about the average number of minutes per kilometer for a runner and the total distance of running the race. So this is the distance of the race and this is your average speed per kilometer. So the connection is the further into the race the slower your kilometer time is. Right? So that's yeah. that's where they're going with this. That's what these numbers represent. Right? Because you get more tired so you start to slow down a little bit. Okay. I'm confused on how to like explain Yep. Yeah, it's, it was not worded very easily. So as long as you were able to get the equation 0.05x plus 0.52, strong positive correlation, right? Every extra kilometer raced, the time per kilometer increased by 0.05 minutes. So that's what they were saying. Like, um, again, that's the same thing as slowing down as it goes on. And then if the race was 31 kilometers, your average kilometer time would be 6.75 minutes. Questions? TJ. Um, what if you, what if your, like, equation is y equals 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1x plus 5x? Negative? I think it's supposed to be positive. So if you just had a negative, I would have just had to take a half point off because, but it should have been positive. I, I bet you just kind of looked at it quickly, so. Yes, sir. I kind of would see, I had, I did like 0 0.1 times 31 and then plus the 5.2 on D, but I got 8.3. That's okay. So if you round it up to 0 0.1, that's why your number is going to seem bigger. That's fine. I would have been like, okay. You guys know my okays, right? All right, so let's look at the study guide now. Layla, how you doing? Fine. Good? Okay, was it easy to find the videos or did it, like... Okay, awesome. Okay, so on these first few graphs, all you had to do was plot the points. You didn't even have to do a line of best fit. Okay, you okay over there? What are you guys saying? <laughs> I believe nothing you're saying. Okay, so I did time and lapse, right, because... The first column is going to be your x values. The second column is going to be your y. And I was able to use the same increments. So I just plotted the points. So that's how the front should look. And then I, take, I took these, this information for each driver, and I did the linear regression on the app, which is exactly what you guys will do. Okay, so check your answers for the linear regression. This is a 4 here. And it said to the nearest hundredth, so you want to take that into account. Question? Do you have the correlation coefficient nope. to the nearest hundredth? Oh, well, the nearest hundredth, yes. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say to the nearest one. Okay. You want to round to the nearest hundredth. Okay. And then, um, so which driver's equation best models the data? So you're going to look for the one that's closest to one, right? So driver one is 
two one hundredths closer. Like it's only two away. So that would be our closest one. Best models the data. And then we have this situation about concession stands at a racetrack. We're trying to predict how many bottles of water they're going to need, right? So we did a linear regression with the hundreds of thousands of people, not thousands of cases of water. So this should have been your equation, y equals 0.04x minus 1.5. Yeah? Okay. What does the slope represent? So what I did was I took this times 1,000 because I knew that this was actually just a representation of that per thousands of people. So when you multiply that times 1,000, you get 40. So I said you need 40 extra cases sold per thousand people. Okay, because my denominator is 1, which is really 1 times 1,000. Now, if you said 0 0.04 extra cases per one person, I would have counted that as well, right? Because Wait, what would you count it? If you said I need 0 0.04 extra cases of water per one person, okay. right? But if you converted oh, it into thousands, then of course, okay, Finnegan, I, tell me what you're thinking. Because your eyes are saying, what? <laughs> Is going on? I said point zero four cases are sold for every person that was attending. Perfect. That's fine. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, but if you converted it to thousands, like if you multiply both of those by thousand, because it's in thousands, then you would have forty per thousand people, right? So then, how many do you need if there's going to be four hundred thousand people there? So I put four hundred in for x. I got fourteen point five. Again, convert that to thousands, so you would need 14,500 cases of water. Okay. We all had a sad moment in fourth period because we remembered that nobody went to the race in 2020. That was sad. I did. No. Nobody went to the race. It wasn't I did. Well, the yeah. 500. I was thinking about the 500. They had one? Yeah. They did. It was on TV, but there were no spectators it's around. It's called the NASCAR, right? Amazing. Jeez, uh, it's called the NASCAR. The NASCAR. The NASCAR. It's Indy. It's Indy cars. Indy cars. It's still the NASCAR. No, NASCAR is a different, a different type of car. So NASCAR are like cars that kind of look like cars, and Indy cars are the ones with the big wheels and like the open on the top, and they're really low to the ground. Oh, like the trucks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Not, no. Not like the truck. Why would I Okay. So, let's Okay, let's finish. Let's finish going over the study guide. We don't have to worry about what type of car it is. So, if they sold 9,000 cases of water in 2015, how many people attended the race? So, this is where we're going to replace Y with the 9. And you get 262.5, so I multiplied that times 1,000. And then it says, what assumption can you make about the type of day the race was on? So this is a low attendance, so I would say maybe it was rainy, right? Um, maybe it was really cold. People decided not to go to the race. A weekday. Maybe it was on a weekday because it kept getting postponed, so people were at work. Yes, sir. So since we're on the topic, cars. Okay. Is the NASCAR like the national stage or something? Um, I don't know what NASCAR stands for. I'll look it up while you guys are quizzing. It has car in it. And a NASCAR. Right. But I don't know if the letters, I don't know if the letters are like an acronym. I don't know. Okay. Isn't there like a national like racing competition? I'm going to look it up. I have a project now while you guys are quizzing. Do you guys have any questions before I stop the video? No. We're good? Okay. Gosh, can you use the name of that?